This is a case of an 18 incision RK with a dense central scar with ectasia and thinning. Using my corneoplastique principles, I would like to remove the scar and add tissue using a lamellar technique to build this for the future laser ablation. I have another problem here. There are four arcuate astigmatic incisions in a circular pattern intersecting these deep arcades. So I want to be just outside that circle and still not too far out. I'm using a Moria 1 tree fine that allows me to preset my depth of definition. I'm checking for the wheel, looking into the barrel, making sure it's everything's good. The blade is flush and retracted. And now I'm determining at the notch what my depth of definition would be, in this case 200 microns. I'm now placing the tree fine to make sure my marks are preset. Not going to cut through the arcuate incisions into the eye, but stay just outside and I'm happy with the mark, I proceed with vacuum. Rotate gently clockwise and it will stop at the depth that you have determined. I'm observing now the uniform circumferential definition. Given the delicate nature of this RK and the cutting arcuate incisions across it, I'm using a sharp bevel blade again to prevent resistance and use an initial pocket to enter the lamellar plane. As I see the RK incisions coming apart, I decide to use a diamond blade set to 200 micron depth and go in my track of the trephonition, not giving up on doing a lamellar surgery and not converting to penetrating, keeping my promise of elegance following corneoplastic principles. Once I have done this, even if each batch of the lamellar cornea comes up in wedges, I'm okay. I keep dissecting again using less resistance here and more spatial separation because the RK incisions here are so weak they look like they were done yesterday. I'm also concerned about the arcuate incisions that are cutting across these RK incisions and I gently hold this lamellar tissue as I dissect using less resistance and as I said more spatial separation and seeing my plane below smooth enough for me to proceed with lamellar keratoplasty eventually. Gentle and easy. These RK incisions truly look like they'll open up any minute. No wonder there was this deep scarring. I'm now preparing the peripheral pocket, again keeping all principles no matter how difficult for future success. At each stage you see me holding or providing resistance with my forceps. In this way I'm transferring the resistance between instruments and not on the cornea. Remove the excessive sliver. This is the ectatic area with very deep incisions. I'm now laying the donor tissue on the recipient bed, making sure it fits well. I now proceed with my anchor sutures and the problem I have here is I cannot go radial because there are all these RK and arcuate cuts everywhere. So I'm planning as I can go obliquely across and I take two additional sutures to counterbalance the ectatic area. So these sutures are mostly to compress the graft to decrease the ectasia, decrease the keratometry and secure the graft in this very unstable cornea. And I'm not giving up my desire to still do my anti-torque, which gives me the resultant endpoint. And here we are finished with our interrupted sutures. I'm now starting my anti-torque eight byte suture. Gently, one at a time, across the incisions on both ends using my instruments for counter pressure, as you can see here. Gently buttressing the RK incisions in the radial pattern too. And here is the end point. Case complete. This dentist brings donuts to show his appreciation. Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Brooks. I'm a dentist in Ocala, Florida. I've been there for 30 years. Um, I've had RK done about 20 something years ago and in the past five years it's been a problem. I've been seeing my ophthalmologist 
I, he's my friend and patient also, and after discussing options with him, we decided to see Dr. Gulani to help me with my vision issue. The uh, options that I had didn't seem really good at that office, and he said, let's try Dr. Gulani. And to be honest with you, I've been through two or three different surgeries. I'm very pleased with my results to this point. I'm not ready to finish the vision yet, but it makes sense to me to not remove my cornea to fix something that might have the chances of being okay using other procedures. And I have not had very much difficulty with this. And I'm very pleased I've come here and I've been treated extremely well. And I also feel like the results are going to be exceptional. If for any reason this doesn't meet my satisfaction, I can always fall back on the old tried and true procedures. But this just made sense with the technology that's available today. Thank you.